How you doing? Thank you for watching. This is George at Wicked Warnings, your number one source for LED emergency strobe lighting and safety equipment. As you can see, we've got kind of a tall truck in here right now. This is a boring rig that drills holes in the ground to test the soil conditions for various engineering needs. It is a newer Dodge Ram. The series of body right before the new body change. This one goes all the way up to 2019 and later, I believe. This is a 5500 cabin chassis with a custom bed on the back, obviously. In the front, we are featuring our Thin X LIN series in an amber and white. What we've done is we've chosen an amber and white alternation in a quick double flash alternating pattern. The reason we chose this is there will be workers present around this rig and it is involved in traffic so we didn't want to have anything that was dangerously fast or extra offensive blinding any drivers or workers around the truck it goes from solid orange to solid white all four synced together and if you can see a little bit here if i can darken up the iso i might be able to get there, so if I darken the ISO on the camera, you can now see the alternation. We've kind of got an X pattern going uh, from top to bottom because we split fired this light back and forth. I wanted to keep all the lights on as long as possible and just give a little bit of movement. Again, this is a roadside truck, so it's not like it's doing highway pursuit or high-speed vehicle chasing. It's just there for cautionary purpose, so that's why we chose this particular pattern. Now the camera will return to normal brightness there, and yes, our ThinX lights are that bright. The other feature of the ThinX LIN series light is the popular flood mode steady white override. So as you can see here with another switch, you can steady white flood your ThinX LIN series and get that extra lighting you need for loading trailers or for scene lighting when you're on scene. Alrighty, so I'm also excited to show you around the back of this truck. We're featuring our all-new Raptor LED. As you can see, there's a heavy piece of equipment on the back end of this vehicle. So we wanted a strong, robust light that can take the abuse. And I think the Raptor fits that bill very nicely. It's included with a stainless steel guard to protect it from damage. And as you can see here, we have a mild alternating amber and white pattern, very similar to the front in a quick double flash. And as you can see, when we back up away from the rig just a little bit, we also have these lights on the side. We've synchronized all four lights, back and side, to do an alternation pattern. So as you can see, you get the color alternation on the corners, as well as the color alternation on the sides. You can see what I mean when I darken up that camera just a little for you. I'm so sorry the lights are so bright I have to darken the camera. My apologies there. As you can see, we also enabled the rear flood. So if the workers needed a little bit of extra light, they can hit switch number three on the factory auxiliary switches and enable the rear flood mode. There you can see that. Just to show you the brightness of that rear flood, uh, as you can see now, we are in a dark shop. The shop lights are all off. And the rear flood is active. And you can see it's illuminating quite well. There's a little better shot. But you can see easily illuminates the back of the shop and the sides. Here's a little better shot of that Raptor light. You can see the included foam gasket there. Now it comes with two Phillips head screws. Because of this particular vehicle being heavy iron, we chose to drill and tap and use some Allen headed stainless steel hardware. The hardware is not included. Like I said, this light comes with stainless steel screws, but when you're dealing with a heavy, thick iron frame like this, we chose to drill and tap instead. Here you can see the profile. And again, that 
large stainless bezel top and bottom to protect it not only from impact from the top and the bottom but also from a impact this way the stainless bezel is there to protect the light itself should you happen to bump into something or have somebody bump into you there's the one mounted on the side of the vehicle and here's the other side right there and you can see you don't lose much side clearance at all and there you go because that's the next question how much room does it really take up we're looking at about an inch and five eighths and as far as width here we're looking just over eight and a half as far as the width more about eight and three quarters total your height is just under at inch and seven eighths as you can see here in the cab of the truck, we are using the factory auxiliary switches. We've got one set to the front, battery power, two set to the rear, battery power for flashing, and three is set for your flood, and that is set up for ignition power by Dodge. If you don't like that, talk to Dodge, because I can't control it. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. Be sure to check the description. We're your number one source for LED emergency lights and safety equipment, LED strobe lights, as well as anything else safety related for cars vans trucks suvs buses boats stay tuned and subscribe for more